AC Guy 1948 here. We'll be playing Thimbleweed Park. Start a new game up. And, uh, oh, it wants to go. Gonna be doing hard mode. I beat it in casual mode. I just haven't done hard mode yet. So, I kind of already know the gist of it. I played a little bit in hard mode, started off, but I haven't beaten it in it yet. So, I'm going to do that on here. And uh, if I do get lost, I might end up uh, looking at a walkthrough. Uh, this game takes place in 1987. So, it's made by the same people that made Maniac Mansion, which when I heard it was coming out, it was just like, take my money. I <laughs> want to play more stuff you guys are making. So, I really like what they did with the graphics on this game. It looks really good. Now, this here doesn't make any sense to me. It's been a while since I've played it, but I don't know if I ever figured out why the population would change, because... This guy in the beginning is from Germany, and he's just passing through, sort of thing. He came there for a meeting. So he's not actually one of the people in the town. Hope my mic's not too loud for you or too quiet, because uh, I just now uh, got some editing software and Windows I 7. I halfway around the world, and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I just got Windows 7 hooked up on my computer, installed finally. Because I've been running Linux, and it's like, that's been very... I couldn't even try to play this on that. So. This here is kind of pointless. I am supposed to it's meet someone, someone you can down talk here. to in the beginning. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Yeah, if you can... Sober up, sir. <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruin my life. Unless it's Chuck that they're talking about. I have to so go. Sleep well. The one that was, uh... And why it went down to 80. Let's see here. Well, you can look at the note. Everyone in this game has a kind of checklist of what, uh... What needs to be done. So, um... Turn off the light above the trestle, uh... Trail sign. And then go over to the... Sewage grate. I don't know why I'm doing open. I need to pick it up. Use the rock on the... Well... It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. It is my wallet and it has 252 American dollars in it. It is the key card for my room. It is a rock. Okay. Now I can use the rock on the light. There! I've completed step three of the note. Now for step four. I go all the way over here. And boom, you get hit. to the body. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. 
Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Oh yes it is. Let's see here. One of them has... Okay. Use... Or, well, you gotta give the film. Sure. I'll carry your crap. <laughs> you gotta use the film in the camera. And you can use the camera on the corpse. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. So someone definitely took his money. I thought there was something around here. I can't remember if it was like different. Uh, yeah, bottle. It's an there. empty whiskey bottle. Where is it? There should be a chainsaw. There it is. It's covered by the underbrush. But it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Okay. Chainsaw of disappointment. Oh, chainsaw of expectation. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. <laughs> so, it's out of gas. You can't get gas till later. But at least in this game you can get gas. Maniac Mansion, I spent many, many hours searching that game trying to figure out where's the gas for the chainsaw. Trying I can't open way. that. No, not open. Pick it up. I don't even know if you need it, but uh, I know you need a lot more in the hard mode. A lot more items come into use. Behind jaggy lines from Mucus Flem Games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? Pick it up. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup, though. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember. Signals are very strong tonight. What? They're just messing Brothers, with you with the if signals. Your sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. <laughs> Shut up, Emily. Soon. Signals are very strong tonight. <laughs> okay, what there signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. <laughs> this is really this is odd. Really odd. Save my game. Should I save my game? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. See, that's... But I'd watch out for the signals. 
So it can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. That's the one thing I don't like about this game. Uh... But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. I disagree with that. It was actually that. making it less fun. I strongly disagree with that. Seems like it. No. no I've I had think enough I've of had this. enough of you. I disagree I need with to find that. The sheriff I like to have the solve dead a murder. Ends. Nice talking to you too. Click, click, click. Something plastic rings from a six pack. You're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife, but yeah, that's that's the one thing. The one thing I disagree with is not having any dead ends. I mean, if it makes the game like unwinnable and you get into a spot like that, okay. But I can see the point on that. I like having like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. You're dead now. Then you learn not to do it. And sometimes you forget when you don't, when you come back from the future. Like when I did Shadowgate. I did a playthrough of that. And there Wait was so me. much I forgot. Ended up dying quite a few times. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> How long were you going to let that body rot in the river? Well, the river is so chock full of chemicals from the old pillow factory. It's better off there than in a tub of formaldehyde. I Boy. guess you're here about our little murder Reno out by the bridge. Out there. there is nothing little <laughs> about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Areno do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes sense. That makes no <laughs> sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Areno's? Howdy who? I'm the Thimbleweed Park coroner. Welcome to the future, Who. Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, Who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who? Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Yes, this sheriff. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. It. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a okay. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. 
Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance <laughs> yeah, around the eyes. Are. But we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure. Whatever. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. <laughs> I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Uh, speck of dust. I don't know if I'm going to try collecting all of them or not. I know there's a lot of them in this game. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Bloodtron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Four. Last digit of pi. It really has to think on this one. Well, you heard it first, folks. Last digit of pi is seven. I'm not putting my finger in there. I want to use talk to. Yes. One, a robot may not injure a human being or, who in action, allow a human being to come to harm. Two, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Four, party like it's 1999. <laughs> it should be. It should be. <laughs> Entering hibernation state. One thousand and seventeen miles. The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is ninety-three thousand miles. At the most distant point of its orbit, the Earth is ninety-four point five million miles from the Sun. The Andromeda Galaxy is around 2 million light years away. Seriously, you've been playing too many adventure games. Some well, that might be true. <laughs> uh, let's see here. It's Leaves. empty. No? It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. Well, stuff gets moved around. Because I, uh, I started recording this earlier. And it was the bottom drawer that had it. Hmm. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. <laughs> Chewy Shout Caramel to... Center. Ugh. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. Shout out to um, Maniac Mansion. There's a lot of Easter eggs for that in here. But, um, all right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we're going to go see the sheriff in the next one. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.